Hey, Benson, you want to be in a video? Give me a thumbs up. Hey, everyone, Michelle from Vet Medics. Just sitting here with my house guest, Benson. Have you ever wondered what this thing on your dog is all about? What it's actually for? This funny looking appendage here is a dew claw. It's basically an extra toe. Prehistorically or way before dogs were domesticated, it was thought that it was used for them to actually grip things or if they were climbing trees during hunting, they would be able to use that. But these days we find more that they're just kind of there, almost like a thumb, but with no physical ability to really do anything. So they just kind of hang out there. Some breeds are more prominent in having dew claws than others. The most common breeds that we see are St. Bernard's, Great Pyrenees, Briards, they are larger breed dogs, and actually the Pyrenees and the Briards have double dew claws in the back, also known as polydactyl, so that's kind of cool. Usually they are very loosely attached on the hind legs, and that makes it very easy for them to get torn off, especially if they're very active, running through the woods. So I kind of think of it as us having wisdom teeth. They're there, we don't really need them for anything, and they usually cause more harm or discomfort than good. So we have them removed. So Cabela had hers removed when she was a puppy, um, actually at five days old. And Harper here didn't have any. And then we have Benson here. I can actually pull and pinch here. He has just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of cartilage, but mostly just skin. That's allowing it to wiggle in the breeze there. So. If he runs through the woods and gets caught on a branch, that thing is coming off. And he's gonna have to go into the hospital and get some stitches and have a bandage on, and he's not gonna be very happy. So with that being said, the dew claws are typically removed from the hind leg. On the front legs are more um, firmly attached to the body, have more bony attachments, and don't really pose any risk for injury. The dew claws, usually on the breeds that they're more prominent in, are removed a few days after birth or when they're a little bit older, when they're getting spayed or neutered. Some people don't have them done and they kind of grow up and when they're active, we see them coming into the hospital very often from after running through the woods or playing around, they get caught on something, they get torn and they bleed and they're just messy and the owners are like, oh my goodness. So we highly recommend that they are removed. If you enjoy videos like these, like, comment, Please subscribe and share.